we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about it. Well, hello, everyone. This is Yuli of Better Together Snapshot, where we take a snapshot of small business owners in our midst. We learn about their companies, their merchandise, and we learn strategies that we can imitate if we ourselves would like to begin a business on our own. Now, today's business teacher is Rhonda. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Rhonda, welcome. <laughs> Hi. It is so wonderful to have you with us. Uh, I'm excited for everyone to learn about your brand. If you have not heard of RJB Collections yes, yet, you've been under a rock because you're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is We're happy to be here. Wow, your stuff is fabulous. So let's just get started. Well, before we get started, your name is unique. It sounds like an acronym, RJ. <clears throat> what does that stand for? What does your name stand for? So it stands for Rhonda Jesse Benjamin. Rhonda and Jesse Benjamin, because it was my husband and I that started the business together. And so, um, yeah, so Rhonda and Jesse Benjamin. I love it. I love it. Well, a family, a duo start mm -hmm. business together. <clears throat> That's a gift. That really is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So what is what is your business about? What what is what type of business do you have, Rhonda? Um, so we um make and sell polymer clay jewelry. Um and it's polymer clay jewelry, but I say that very, you know, loosely because it's not typical polymer clay jewelry. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, our jewelry is unique and um, different from a lot of other pieces. And that's the way we, that's, that's our claim to fame um, oh. as far as our line goes. I love and so we tell that, yep. I, now you mentioned it was unique. <clears throat> What, what is different about your brand that maybe other earrings don't carry? Uh. So about that, so that's what I was going to say. And, you know, I, I didn't want to go too um, far in before, you know, I was like, okay, let me wait <laughs> till she asks questions and not be like, over the interview. <laughs> but so one of the things, so the biggest thing is not necessarily, oh, like, you know, oh, we're so different as far as our, you know, creativity, like, oh, we're, you know, our creativity is better or anything like that. But one of the things when we started was that we said we never wanted to duplicate or repeat an earring design. Yeah. And so we're happy to say that two years in, we have never repeated or duplicated an exact earring. So everyone walking around is, um, if they have um, a piece from the RJB collection series. Um, any of them are true. They're all originals. So everyone's walking around with priceless artwork on their ears. <laughs> now that is beautiful. And to testify to that, I have a pair of RJB collection earrings on right now. Ooh, and no, one, yes. no one else has these. this pair. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> Nope, that's the bubble flower. I love, it. I love it. And the earrings you're wearing now, <clears throat> this is your brand as well, correct? Yes, correct. Oh, mm -hmm. those are absolutely gorgeous. So that is Thank really, you. that's unique, you know, to know that if you buy a pair of earrings from RJB Collections, no one else has that pair of earrings. I will mm -hmm. not go to someone in the mall and be like, girl, we got the same earrings on. <laughs> I know, right? And and you know, with that, not to say that if that happens because like i've purchased a lot of things that there were multiples of uh -huh. you know it's just the way we chose to do it but it's not to say that if there is you know someone that has duplicates right. or anything that there's anything that there's something wrong with it it's yeah. just that we chose that we wanted it to just you know um it was all about creating something special, you know? And mm -hmm. we are like, what could make our line special and unique? Everyone's doing polymer clay jewelry, but we're like, what can we do to stand out exactly. and be unique? Um, and unique, unique and one of a kind. Um, and that's what the two words, unique and one of a kind are one and the same. Mm -hmm. But we didn't want to use the word unique loosely 
mm-hmm. and one of a kind loosely because we literally were like that's you know sometimes words are overused mm, that's true and they're overused and we're like okay no we want it to actually be the meaning of what we do mm-hmm. that's really beautiful Thank you. and it's really unique now how did you come up with the concept for your brand what you know what made you start this well, it was actually, um, say it was out of um, necessity, not just creativity, um, because I am a hairstylist by trade. Oh. And um, during the pandemic, my because my home is immunocompromised, my husband's disabled and my two sons are asthmatic. And then I was pregnant. Oh, wow. It was kind of very risky for me to go back into the salon. And so because of that, we um, started playing around with wood, painting wood jewelry and decided to see if we could do it. Um, I also have, you know, I have a hair care line, which is what I started first. And then we said, we got, you know, wanted to do something else. And when we did that, making the hand painted wood jewelry, um, we were having issues with colors we would have something in our mind as far as what color we wanted it and the concept and shape, Uh but we couldn't create those mediums with a flat piece of wood and not understanding how to work with different paints and textures. Mm -hmm. And so because of wanting to do that, we decided to try polymer clay. Now I tried it first and Jay just kind of watched me for a few weeks or so because he was like mm, that's your thing I'm gonna still do this wood <laughs> and um so after that um we started doing polymer clay and never turned back because we were able to create so many shapes so many designs so many colors mixing colors and making colors matching I love to do fabric um matching and things like that you know to try to bring to life you know uh fabrics and designs you know wow. and um yeah i that and jay is- loves the flowers and stuff so, oh yeah. is he the flower yes. creator yes he's uh. the, we call him the king of flowers because he <laughs> makes them like so lifelike i mean you know like they look like real flowers from the garden so you know Oh yeah, and that's his thing, and he loves to do that because it reminds him of his mother. His mother passed when he was sixteen, and she loved flowers, and so that is one of the things that um, he loves to do. Wow, that's beautiful mm-hmm. to hear the to hear the story behind it. That is mm, yeah. beautiful. These are actually some ones, a pair of his flower earrings that I absolutely <clears throat> love. As well. well, no, those are actually oh. so. No, those are the bubble flower. Oh, so geez. now the bubble flower was, that's my design. Um, And the bubble flower was actually, it's funny because the bubble flower came after my mom passed. And it's something that I had in my mind for a long time, but never did it because whereas it's hard for me to sit still like and concentrate on one thing for a long time. And that requires a lot of concentration and time, which our pieces now, a lot of my pieces have begun to reflect more concentrated effort on one project because since my mom died, it has become more therapeutic. Um, And so I do, um, my designs have changed because of that. mm -hmm. Oh, that is beautiful too. Actually, a meaning to the different designs. That's yeah. also something that's very unique. I, I can't buy that in Macy's. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long have you been making the polymer clay earrings? Um, since we started about October 2020. Wow. So about, it's been a little over two years now. Wow. And I have seen your work and I fell in love with it. From It was love at first sight. Oh, thank I have you. I have not seen one pair of earrings you've made that I didn't want to purchase. But <laughs> I'm not a millionaire, so I have to. 
<laughs> I have to, you know, I have to be wise in that area. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. Now, with any business, you know, there's going to be challenges. You know, um, mm -hmm. I know that some of our viewers <clears throat> actually are individuals that want to start their own businesses. But were there any particular challenges that you may have had in getting your brand up and going? Um, yes, we've had, you know, we've had many challenges as far as, you know, one of the first challenges is usually, of course, for many businesses and brands is income and, you know, uh, you know, funds to do the things that you want to do. You see a lot of things and you want to do them all. Um, and you feel like, well, if I had more money, I'd be able to do more for my business. But for us, um, it just wasn't really something that was an option. So we had to kind of, you know, we roughed it and toughed it and done, you know, what we could with the resources that we had and, you know, been able to, you know, in situations raise money and awareness for what we're doing to be able to reinvest into the business to do more things. Um, you know, right now we're actually going through rebranding right at currently. So um not sure when this interview is going to <laughs> air, but it will probably have a different name by the end. Oh now that's exciting. That yeah. is exciting. So Okay. Yeah, we actually are um, doing um, that brand reveal coming up this week. Oh, um, of course of that. Yes. And so um, that is something, trying to make sure that your brand identifies not just who you are, but who your company is. Mm -hmm. And putting what you do um, with your company. Now, since, you know, we were RJB, you know, collection, and we found the need to, um, you know, rebrand and do because we now are a family-based business because our two sons who are 12 and 16, also we have taught them and they also make in our line. So we're no longer Rhonda and Jesse Benjamin, uh -huh. you know, we may be the start of it, but our line is so diverse that we wanted something that represented what feelings our line makes people feel, you know, like, and we wanted that feeling to come out in our logo, in our look. And finally, we found that and we're like super excited about releasing that and launching <laughs> oh i'm excited <laughs> yes I, yes yeah wait i was looking at your website and one of the things i saw was a section where your son made some of the jewelry oh yeah both of them that is such a talent for a young man to have i mean making yeah. jewelry already is, is an amazing talent but when you mm -hmm. get the whole family in that's amazing oh that yeah we have the Red Diamond Collection, which is our 12-year-old, and the Jewels Collection, which is our 16-year-old. And so they, you know, um, both have very unique looks, all four of us. And that's what we say. One of the biggest things, too, with our line is that there are four creatives behind the name and behind our designs. So there's always something for everyone. We, you know, specialize in a lot of bold statement piece jewelry pieces but we also have the little petite pieces we also mm -hmm. have you know small colorful neutral you know we we try to have a design that resonates with everyone oh I absolutely love that and you do you have definitely <laughs> fulfilled that mission <laughs> Beautifully, beautifully now if I <laughs> wanted to buy your earrings how could I go about doing that um on our website, rjbcollections.com, www.rjbcollections.com. And um, we actually have it set up where most um, <clears throat> most of the items are 
if anyone ever has an issue, they can always send us a message where it says ask a question um, on there, but where they can be shipped internationally. So, oh, yeah. That is so, amazing. Yeah, so we have that set up now on our website where, um, you know, we can ship internationally if someone, you know, wants to purchase. So, also, oh, our viewers in I London and Sweden, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> You can order your earrings straight from RJV Collections. Now, will your website name change later once your, your brand name changes? No, our website will not change um, because our name will still be by RJV Collections. Beautiful. So, Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so we can mm -hmm. still find you even when the brand name changes. Correct. So, so go to rbjcollections.com and check out her current items. But if you go in about a week, you'll see a new name, right? Yes, the, the oh. name will be reflected on the website, but it'll still be this, you know, URL will still be rjbcollections.com. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. Now, yeah. I know you're rebranding and you're you're changing the name, you're changing the logo and different, which is awesome. Do you have any other plans for the future with your brand that you're thinking of? Um, well, we have, you know, we are constantly expanding. Um, you know, we are happy to now be in uh with Yuli's Boutique, uh, we have Love it. <laughs> uh, pieces on, um, in Yuli's Boutique online. And then um, we have um, a local um, boutique that um, also has, um, well, a curated art um, shop that also carries some of our pieces and also a, um, market um uh that we have a uh, art i mean a uh, jewelry display at and so now we have another um expansion that we're really excited about that we are you know working on it's going to take a little bit longer but to be in a boutique in miami wow um, yeah so we are actually working on all of those things. And so our, you know, what we're working on now really for um, 2023 and going forward is really just expanding our reach and our audience um, to different areas. And that's what our goal is. And to continue to put pieces out that are bold and unique um, that you can't find other places. Yeah. I, love it. I love it. And that is something I love about your jewelry. I love the fact that I love your talent for one thing. I've seen you take a piece of fabric or a dress and make earrings that coordinate with that perfectly. That is just amazing. Yeah. I, mean, I love that aspect of your earrings. You know, there, there's something to coordinate with everything. But when you take that dress and you make the earrings exactly like that dress, that's some serious talent. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you self-taught in that area? You know what? Um, no. The only thing I can say, art is art is something that definitely runs in my family. Um, my brother actually is an artist. He's a sketch artist. My uncle is um, he, you know, paints. He's a painter. Uh -huh. Um, and then I had um a famous uncle, Charles White. Um my mom's cousin was my cousin. Um, my mom's, I think, second cousin, something like that. But anyway, he's, um, and so art is something that runs in my family line and also in Jay's family line. So it definitely is something deep within us. And art, hair was always my art. Uh-oh. I love it. Uh-oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so hair was always my art, and I didn't know. I started manipulating the jewelry and doing certain things that actually reminded me of things that I would do when I would be when I would mold the hair, oh. you know, and things like that. So some of those same movements that I would do with the hair, I you know did. That's where like the drape earring, oh, okay. like when I 
first started, you know, doing that, it made me think about when I would do beach waves in someone's hair. Wow. Um, and the spiral earrings, uh -huh. the same thing. Like when I wrapped them, it was like wrapping the hair around a rod, okay. um, a spiral rod. So those were actually designs that when I first did them, they um, were my like tribute to the my salon roots. That is beautiful. So your creativity in the salon came over into your creativity. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, that is amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I love that. I absolutely love that. Like <laughs> I said, everything you create, I love. I have not found a piece that I don't. Uh -huh. And that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I, look at, I always look at your post and say, oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's gorgeous. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm yet you. to see a piece that I don't feel is absolutely gorgeous. Just be thankful. So, uh, hats off to you and your husband and your two sons because you are doing done lots of prayer, but really, you know, on top of that, also, really, if a lot of times what I have in my mind in the beginning and at first, I always end up going back to that. Mm. And I've learned that go with it, go with what it is that you are thinking, because more than likely it came to you, especially when you have prayed, oh, <laughs> and, you know, and, you know, that a lot of the times it has come to you because it's something that you are, you know, really, you know, needing to do or wanting to do and it can work out but believe in yourself and not you know I, I've had to step back a lot to believe in myself because social media will have you doubting whether or not your idea is really that great mm -hmm. you can look and see and for us it looks like oh my everybody ha is already doing that so why why is my idea so good or why is my business plan gonna work well the thing is is that yeah there are a lot of people but there are also a whole lot of retail stores when you go to the mall or anything every and every store has someone in it exactly so even though there are what seemingly like businesses that doesn't mean that yours won't succeed so my biggest thing is to say believe in yourself and work toward your goal, not work toward someone else's goal or work toward what you see someone else doing, but try to block away, block yourself away in your own thoughts mm -hmm. and not someone else's thoughts because that's what has helped me to grow as an individual because I found myself getting in a creative like funk where it's like I don't know what to do and the reason why was because I was doubting whether or not what I'm doing is good so you know um I just say just do it <laughs> you know yeah just yeah. just do it because you'll never know if it's gonna work or not if you never start so beautiful advice do it. You, I, I love that. That is that breaks that <clears throat> it and breaks it down. Yeah, just do it. Unless we try, the answer is no. So yeah, you have to give it a try. And I, I like I like what you said about if you have a thought, just go with it. Just just try yeah. it. Go with it. Especially if you've been praying about it, just go with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that may be the answer right there. Yeah. So that is absolutely beautiful. Well, we have loved everything you've shared with us. I love the story about the pieces. I was not aware of that. It just makes it <laughs> more special. And I love the fact that your entire family is working on this as a as a yes. as a company. It's not just one person or two people. What's mm -hmm. And that is beautiful. But before we go, I, I do want to ask you one thing. I know that you also have a you have a second business as well. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. I um at I also formulate hair products. Oh beautiful. so yes. Um mm -hmm. I um curly hair products. Um so because I'm a curly hair hairstylist. So one of the things that was the beginning, the first thing I did during the pandemic was to um start a um 
start making products because my clients were like, well, what am I supposed to do? And I am, you know, one of the lines that I had them using was under a lot of media heat at that time. And I didn't want, they were like, what am I supposed to use in my hair? And I couldn't think of anything at that time. I didn't know anything else that I felt like was going to work the same way. And so I decided to give it a try. Um, and I gave it a try. And the first thing I made, Jay was like, put it in a bottle. I love and it. I was like, okay. And I put it in a bottle. And now, you know, the biggest sellers are the curl hair, hair jelly and charcoal detox shampoo. Those um, are the still to this day, um, the biggest like sellers and have the same formulation where I haven't had to tweak them because they, you know, work phenomenal. So, yeah. I am so impressed with individuals like yourself that can just take an idea and create <clears throat> That that's beautiful. And I know the artistic things are in your DNA, you know, and it comes out. That's really beautiful. Now, if I wanted to purchase some of your hair care products, could I do that? Is there somewhere I could go and purchase that? Or should I contact you? Well, I have um, my website, rondivas.com, and it's R-H-O-N-D-I-V-A-S, Rondivas. That was the name of my and everybody call me. Rondiva. That's uh, pretty much my name. Like and it. my salon was Rondiva. So um it's rondivas.com okay. um is the um website that has YouTube tutorials. Even if someone isn't going to purchase, they can actually look at different um uh, tutorials on caring for their curls and also linking to my Instagram page here by Rondiva and shows like different videos on how to take care of your curls. I love mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. we got a two for one today. We learned <laughs> about the earrings and the jewelry <laughs> and RJB collections, but now we also learned about the curly hair care products with Ron Diva, correct? Ron. Yes. <laughs> so we have two websites to check out. Check out rjbcollections.com and check out Rhonda, no, Ron Diva's. <laughs> Dot yeah. as well. So we will put both of those links down below so that individuals can just tap on those and check out your website. So we are definitely looking mm -hmm. forward to that. Well, Rhonda, I can't thank you enough for joining us and sharing your amazing, amazing business um, brand with us and telling us all about the yeah. I love your advice. So um, again, this is Better Together Snapshot. And today you have met the glorious Rhonda <laughs> of RJB Collections, pending a name change, and also yeah. of Ron Divas. So we look forward to checking out your brands online. And until next time, love, thank you for watching. We just talk, can we just talk?